Hi, this is Anil. In this video, I will talk about what is Azure Cast and how to write sample program in Azure Cast. Uh, what is Azure Cast? It is an in-memory data grid and it is purely written in Java. And why do you need Azure Cast uh, in-memory data grid like solutions? Because whenever we write applications, we store the data in the database and uh, whenever you try to retrieve the data from the database, it will take some time. There will be some latency because uh, database stores its data in the data file system. So it obviously will have some uh, delay in accessing the data. So Hazel can store the data in the memory using key value pairs. That means it uses its own uh, map to store the key value space. And it will also store the data using distributed architecture. That means uh, we can uh, run the Hazel cast at the same time in multiple nodes. Suppose uh, if you want to store the data, then if you put the data into the Hazel cast map, it will take the data and evenly distribute across all the nodes. Actually, this is called the cluster, Hazel cast cluster. So whenever putting the data, it will put in the node one and uh, automatically uh, that same data will be taken will be taken back up and put it in the node two and uh, the same data can be put it in the node two if backup count is two suppose if node one node three goes down and uh, then that data will be taken again and uh, redistributed between these two nodes that means you will never lose the data unless uh, entire cluster goes down. So uh, the Hazel cast uses map based uh, data stores. So that means we can store the key value pairs and it is scalable because we can add multi whenever you need, we can add nodes so that it will uh, be, be, it will become more scalable whenever you want to add, we can add the nodes. And by default, Hazel cast uses multi casting in order to identify the clusters. Whenever a new node joins, it uses a multicast uh, networking system and it will identify the members. If you don't want multicasting and then we can use a TCP IP and we can configure the cluster. Hazard cast can also be integrated with the Spring Framework, but in this demo, I will show you using, uh, I will show the Hazard cast sample application using this normal Java configuration. Yeah, first we need to create the Maven project. I will uh, create the group ID dot nil and headset and here so and I can create test two and finish it. This is pom.xml and uh, if you want to download the software, you can go to the hazelcast.org download page. And here I'm using the Maven coordinates to get the software. Here you can put uh, dependencies and with this dependency. And also I have some code to configure the compiler. And this will get the software. And now we have Hazelcast 3.11. And here we'll write server as well as client. So we can give all so that it will get client as well as server software. Here, yeah, we got this one. And we will create on package on top and server. First, we'll create server class. Here, the here already uh, main method, and and we can import as a cast here. We are creating the new Hazardcast server instance. And if I start running this application, it will store the Hazardcast server with the default port number. Here you can see server started and um, it started on port 5701. 
and this is the server member. And if we start the same program, I don't have diff, uh, multiple nodes here. So in the same mission, I will start one more uh, as a server instance. If we start the second instance, it will um, run on a different port. It will uh, run on 5702 and it will join the host. It will join the cluster because this is the this member and the first one is this one. Now we have two members on the cluster. Uh, in order to, if I don't give a configuration to the Hazelcast instance, Hazelcast server, it will take the default uh, configuration and run on the 5701 port. So here I will uh, create a configuration. So we can give, we can create one more Java file. Here are your class, edit config, and this is a code here. What we are doing is uh, creating the hazard cost configuration and uh, creating the network configuration and setting the port 5701. And we are disabling multicasting here and adding the TCP IP configuration. And we are also enabling the management center. The management center is basically uh, a, is an application which can monitor all of the cluster members and it will also show how much data cluster is using, uh, how, how many maps are there, all those information we can see from management center. Management center. I will show you this later. Next, we will um, start writing the client. Here, uh, we'll write the client program. Before that, we will put some data in the server. We don't want this one. And we are here we are creating the map, other cache map. And this, uh, this here we are creating the server and we are getting the map from the Hazelcast server instance. Uh, if this map is already not there, then uh, it will create the map and uh, assign to this uh, inst assign to this variable. Here we are putting the variable. Here you are putting the key value place. If a map is already there, then it will uh, give that map. So now we are ready with the server and uh, we can store the server here. Yeah, server is getting started and now server is running. Now we'll create uh, the client. Here we are creating a client to access the data that is present in the server. Here we are creating another class instance that is a client instance in the Hazelcast client class, we can create the client instance and we can uh, use the client and get the map. This map is already present in the server, so it will uh, return that map. So we will um, get the, it'll pause the key and get the value from here. And finally, we'll shut down the client. Now, so it's already running. I will run this uh, client to get the data. It will connect to the server and it will give the data. Here we can pause the configuration, the same as uh, server. If you don't pause, it will take the default configuration and try to connect to the 5701 port. Here, if you run this, it will uh, try to connect. Yeah, it connected to the server and got the value which was stored in the server. So we have completed it, server and client and how to retrieve the data from the server. And now I'll show how to connect to the management center. Here we have already specified in the configuration, this is the URL of the management center. So in order to start the management server, we can go to this downloads and we can download the management center. Um, yeah, this is a management server. 
and we can download this zip file once you get that down we can go to this uh, location and we can start that and what is the port number or dimension and the context here i'm giving context as man center no management so we'll start Now, here I have open management center. And I've already created username and password, so I will give the password. Now, we don't have any cluster, it is not identified in the cluster as of now. Yeah, because we have not given the configuration here. And just config, get config, and let's start the servers. And now let's start the server. Here, now it is connected to the management center and we can run the client also to get you yeah, know we got the data from the server and also we can refresh this now we can see the cluster with the name dev is already present and here we have one node is present and it is using this much heap memory and we have the maps here there are test map we have two entries and there is no backup because we are running only one node here and if i run one more node one more server instance it will run a different port on the same server and it will join the cluster So we have now two members. If I go here, we have 5702, 5701, 5702. And if you go to map now, we have backup of the address present in the node one. Thanks for watching.